Finally, I'm doing a review on these lithium battery powered heated gloves. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Hey, continue to leave video suggestions, but if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my nearly 1,300 videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through. See, check it out. You can adjust the, uh, the heat here, plus and minus. Uh, goes up to the third level setting. Supposedly, you can get two and a half hours of heat out of that. Um, I put it on low. And it does, it's just perfect for me, man. And this will last my whole riding session, which I usually, in the wintertime, I don't do any more than four hours. And it lasts the whole time. Uh, this has a thin slit uh, insulation on here, uh, full leather. It's got, uh, well, look, here, let me go for a ride and let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, I really like these gloves, you know. I'll tell you the one drawback that I'll tell you right off the bat with uh, heated gloves is that they are always thicker than uh, normal gloves. So you're gonna lose a bit of a feel with the gloves. And But it's not that big of an issue uh, because in the winter time you're just, you're not getting too crazy out in here. You're just happy to be riding in the winter time <laughs> on a nice day. So uh, usually you're just cruising out here in the winter anyhow. But um, I'll tell you, I like these better than the other heated gloves that I have that are wired. Those I have to plug in. I have a plug in here on my bike. But every time I get on and off the bike, I got to plug it in, plug it, take it, you know, plug it in all the time and then you have to reset the gloves and all and it's it's kind of an irritation uh, they're great gloves don't get me wrong but uh, I hate having to reset them all the time it's irritating as where these suckers they're good to go all the time I there's no plugging and unplugging of these it's got the batteries in them it has pouches a uh, pouch for the battery which is a nice size battery under here like I said, these are a bit bulkier than your your normal gauntlet gloves, of course. But the trade-off is, is you're getting nice, toasty, warm hands. Unlike those other ones, after, you know, regular gauntlet gloves, your fingertips will start to, uh, you'll get frostbite. Especially at like temps below 40 degrees. Right now, it's in the 40s. And... I tell you guys, I, I could ride, I feel like I can ride all day. Now these were only last supposedly four hours on low. And like I said, I only ride about four hours and they last the whole session for me. But I will tell you guys, even without the heat with these gloves, without even turning the heat on, these gloves will keep your hands warm. So, but when you get into really cold temps, which most people don't ride in super cold temps, uh, I will ride as low as temps as low as 35 you know any lower than that you got to be really careful of black ice out here so I normally don't mess with temps that super low um, but these gloves are legit so far uh, also these gloves have some knuckle protection on them as you see here it's got knuckle protection extra padding here on the side um, these are good quality glove I'll tell you that uh, it has adjustability here, the strap at the top, and the strap here on the bottom. Like I said, the only drawback is that they're a little thicker than, than normal gloves. But I'm sure the more you wear them, like my other gloves, they will break in better. And you'll get a little bit more feeling back. But uh, I like them, man. I'm really liking these gloves. And I'll be rocking these for a while. Now, as far as getting an extra set of batteries you can purchase extra set of batteries i will include the link in the description and comment section of this video along with links to my other gear as well and uh it comes with a charger by the way that connects to both of the batteries and it takes a few hours for them to charge up 
and uh, so yeah it takes a while for them to charge up but once they they're charged up boy you're good for good like I said four hours at least on the low setting and you can cut them on and off too to make them last even longer for those of you that ride even longer in the winter time um, so definitely thumbs up to these gloves I like them so far I'll do a long-term review on them in the future as I do with all my gear um, by the way I got a new Arai helmet here which I did a full review on and if you haven't seen that go check it out I really like this helmet and uh, also I got a new jacket as you see here this uh, uh, Dionese, Dionese uh, Racing 3D Dry Jacket uh, it's a three season jacket for the uh, winter uh, spring and fall make sure to look at the full review I do on this jacket but yeah rocking new winter gear here baby for 2019 yeah getting some love out here on my old hood my motorcycle man and digging my CBI 1000 double R but anyways guys I hope this helps you guys out for those of you that like to ride in the winter time like I do then these are a must especially on the super cold days man like I said it heat by the way these heat your hand all over I know some of you guys say cycle cruiser why don't you just get heated grips I I have heated grips on my CBR 600 RR and I have them on my WR 250R and I'll tell you guys that all the the heated grips are good for is the palm of your hand the exterior of your the top of your hand and your fingertips will get frozen uh, heated grips are only good for like cool days where you just want to have nice warm grip um, but if you you know I'm really like I said below 40 degrees and you're doing a lot of riding you want to get some heated gloves man now it's almost 5 30 so nearly four hours look at that still got power still got warmth in these gloves thumbs up baby but anyways uh for those of you that want to see some good heated grips and installation of them i have a video for that and that's what my channel is all about guys anything and everything motorcycles and uh i try to do a little bit of everything for you guys and uh so hey guys like i said link to these in the description and comment section of my video along with uh my other gear and like i said my website cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my gear and those are links to all my gear everything cameras everything don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel bug out moto showcase is a van that i customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos trip videos uh anything and everything bug out moto as a courtesy i included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos i've done over the years that i feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.